this video we're going to talk about Clovis and the Franks. You can see Clovis here in the little cartoon and his men all around him. Uh, perhaps you remember who he was and what he did. If so, that's great. You're on the right track to getting a 10 in history. And if not, have your notebook open in front of you. Look for the answers now. The two things that Clovis did. Well, the first thing that he did was to unite all the Frankish tribes into one and he became their king. Okay, so this ended uh, what we saw in the other slides of the kind of individual loyalty that each tribe had for their chief. They, they finally did unite and just follow one king, so it was quite a success. And the second thing was that he converted them to Christianity. There's a nice story about how this happened, but supposedly his wife, Cotilde, was a Christian and she wanted him to also become a Christian, and he had told her when he um, experiences a miracle from God, that's when he'll know that God is, truly exists and become a Christian. And so the story goes that he was in a battle, a very important and decisive battle, and he needed to win. Uh, he was very close to losing and very close to dying, and all of a sudden he turned it around and, and won the battle uh, against all the odds. And this he took as his miracle, and therefore chose to convert and uh, convince to his people, the Franks, to convert also. Uh, Clovis's decision to convert is, is quite controversial because some people take it at face value, I suppose, some historians that he really did believe a, a miracle had happened and that he, he should change, but a lot of historians, and it does seem quite credible, actually argue that it was a tactical decision, that a lot of people had become Christians and it would make it easier for him to conquer and dominate and convert more people uh, so that he could control and have more power over people and also he saw the amount of power the church were gaining at this time and so by choosing to convert he was making a clever decision that would give him more power and a, and a stronger position. Uh, I strongly recommend that you watch this video here on YouTube. The title is this, Clovis and the Dates uses Christianity as a tactical game. This is the, the video. Um, because it, it's quite interesting to give you an idea of of this idea of him converting to gain more power and it also gives you a little idea of what life was like at this time in the Middle Ages. So I, I strongly recommend you watch it, it's quite interesting. For example, things to listen out for in the video uh, are, are what life was like for, for normal people, why these normal people at this time in Gaul might have liked the idea of becoming Christians and um, also what he did to the people he conquered. Did he kill them all? Uh, it, it tells you what he did, that, that's quite interesting. And finally, probably the most fascinating one is um, something called the ordeal. So hopefully I've intrigued you enough to watch the video and in class you can tell me what the ordeal is and what you think of it. Anyway, I hope this has helped. Thanks for listening.